Hello everyone, Crushing Life and Stuff with Debra presents me, Debra, with a little bit of a Dollar Tree haul today and a small haul from another store. Um, lots of goodies today. Sunday afternoon I went shopping for a little bit, mostly just to walk around. I like to go to the stores and push the buggy and walk around and then somehow things end up in my cart and I buy stuff. It's weird how that happens. Okay, I'm gonna jump right into it here. I found some fun things at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna transfer things from like one bag into another so that I don't throw things on the floor. Y'all, it is pumpkin spice season. It is, this is instant oatmeal pumpkin spice, mostly for the hubby because during pumpkin spice season, he has like an inner suburban white girl that comes out and looks for pumpkin spice things. And I kind of encourage it because I like it too. I'm an enabler, but yeah. Buck, hello for five packets of oatmeal. Yes, it's sweet and it's not particularly healthy, but it'll be yum too. I also picked these up for the hubs at the Dollar Tree, which maybe I'll have a bite or two of them because I like them too. Harvest Snaps Green Pea Snack Crisps, White Cheddar Variety, and Just Lightly Salted. I've had these before. They're quite yum. Um, I saw them. I said, yeah, the hubby would like those. So I got him those, and maybe me too, but you know. Um, I am running out of shampoo. Got a ton of conditioner. Don't know how that happened. So I bought a bottle of shampoo, just VO5 Extra Body for a buck. You really cannot beat it. I'm going to set that one up there. And there are other things. There are lots of Halloween things this time. Okay, maybe not lots. These little magnetic clips are brilliant. I have a huge metal cabinet in the home office. It sits in the middle. And I've also got a cabinet behind me that are lateral files and it's all metal. These little magnet doohickeys are awesome. Yeah, I use them also to help hang up my Halloween decorations when I decorated there because we have video meetings and you know what? You have got to jazz up the video meetings. Speaking of Halloween, look, Sugar Skull socks. And they say they're for shoe sizes 10 to 13. They look kind of narrow to fit my wide foot, but we're going to at least give it a try. They're cute anyway, and for a buck, yeah, I couldn't pass that up. Yeah, that stays in here. Um, oh, and these are for me. Sour Jacks, the Wild Berry Sour Wedges. They're gummy, but and I normally don't care for a gummy candy, but to have one or two of these, it's nice and sour. Yeah, I like, you know. Fat, this fat chick likes the sour things. So there you go. Put that in this bag. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And I have told you in the past that I have got a Crayola problem. <laughs> Unicrayons. These are supposedly the unicorn colors. These are just colors that already exist. It's that they're not like special colors made for it or anything. But for a buck, I thought it was cute. And um, yeah, Crayola. You're killing me, okay? You are killing me with these crayons. All right, we'll put that one down now that it is refilled. Let's put it over there next to the teeny kitty who is sitting on the bed. Oh, and this one. This was an interesting bag of stuff. I got some sodas. I don't drink a lot of soda. Um, I mostly drink my diet teas and stuff like that. But look at this, made with real sugar and not that corn syrup garbage that we usually have in our sodas. Vanilla cream, love me some cream soda. Okay, and I'm running out of room, of course. And spicy ginger, a nice ginger soda. Now there are some varieties of ginger that are really stout, like ginger sodas that I kind of like. So this will be an interesting try for a buck and dark cream Italian style soda. The, since these are full sugar, this is like, you know, diabetic nightmare here. So what you do is we will test them, share them among three of us. So it's not as much and as bad because an entire bottle of these, and these are all about the same, are 68 grams of carbs for each bottle. Yeah. So even at just a third of it, it's still kind of a, a bit much. So, you know. We will see. Oh, and there was one more thing in this bag. That is for the hubby. Yes, the pumpkin spice were those originals. He likes them. The bags that I keep buying at Dollar General that are like a bigger bag, those keep disappearing. So these will kind of sneak up on him and he will have another little bag. 
for himself. Put this over there. And, ah, now to the bag that has some Halloween stuff and all of the glitter. Glitter, the herpes of the craft world. At this Dollar Tree that we were at, there was a section of an aisle that had all this Halloween stuff that was very, very glittery and stuff. The entire floor looked like it had been just coated and like enameled in glitter. It was hilarious and it was all loose glitter. They said, yeah, every day they are coated in glitter by the time they leave the store when they work there. I did get these little decorative picks. I thought they were kind of cute. Little glittery pumpkins. I will find a use for those in something. I love me some pumpkins and glitter and fall stuff. I thought this was so dang cute. Look at this little guy. Little felt kitty that's also glittery and a pumpkin and a witch's hat. <gasps> yes, I'll probably leave it up all year long. You're not going to stop me, okay? And let me set these down because <laughs> look at these guys. They are purple glitter. Hello. And let's see. I think the tab has been pulled on this one so I can turn this one on. The eyes light up, y'all. This one, the tab hasn't been pulled yet and I need to pull it out so that I can make it work purple glitter light up eyeball socket skulls these are my halloween buddies okay yes i know i'm weird but hello glitter and purple and skulls that is a win all the way around i don't care who you are and now i'm covered in glitter okay but there's more so a couple of more things that i got at dollar tree uh this I saw right at the register. Great place to put it. It's just a notebook. Things I can't say during a video call. I just love that for the front of the notebook. It's just a line notebook. It's a nice little notebook put out by Jot. You know, yeah, things I can't say during a video call. I'm the one that during my video call, sometimes my, uh, my old director used to IM me or, you know, send me a text on my phone and say, watch your face. Because people will say some stupid stuff and I'd be like, this says it all. I can hide it if I'm thinking about it like really hard. But yeah, so definitely need that. Also, I like to crochet, crochet towel toppers. I thought this was cute. I may already have this one, but I got another one. Stay positive. This one is super cute. Wake up and smell the coffee. Love the colors in that. And also, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And I'm pretty sure I already have this one, but I don't care. I picked up another one. And I saw a post somewhere on Facebook where people were saying, oh, those are decorative towels. Not in my house, they're not. We have a double oven. So I have some towels on the top and I have towels on the bottom. And if it's hanging there, you've washed your hands, dry them on the towel. Now, if your hands are nasty, don't dry them on the towel. Get a paper towel, go to the sink, wash your hands. We have dish soap, we have soap. Yes, but to dry your hands when they're just wet with water, absolutely, these will pop right in the wash. They'll be fine. So, yeah, not just decorative. Oh, and I went to another store. There is a store that is called Maxway. I passed by it a few times. Apparently, they're like an equivalent, uh, equivalent, hello, an equivalent to Roses. Roses is a big discount store that I used to go to back in the day. And... They had kitchen towels. Um, they had this six pack of really pretty print, neutral print. They're all the same. They've got different fruits on them and it says grapes and apple and pear and stuff. And I thought you could put a lot of different neutral toppers for towels on these. Six towels for $4.99. That's cheaper than you can get them at Dollar Tree. And yeah, this will make a bunch. And I think I might sell a few. <laughs> and not to stop there, sometimes you don't want a towel that has a saying on it, but you need a towel, right? These towels, and I got, did I get one of each kind, or did I end up with two of some? I may have ended up with two of one of the kinds, but that's okay. Just these nice little checked towels in different colors. They were 50 cents a piece. So, yeah, I got a big handful of them at that store. I got some other things there, too, that really don't apply here. Don't want to bore you too much with the non-at-least-crochet 
adjacent stuff. But thank you for stopping by for the Dollar Tree haul. A little bit of a sidetrack to the Roses haul. I'm going to have a clothing haul coming up soon. Another torrid run. And um, I've also got some yarn coming in from Lion Brand when they send it. I know. There are enablers out there that keep telling me about sales. And I couldn't not get some. So I'll be telling you all about that when it comes in. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, it'd be great if you did that. Hit the like on your way out and check the description. There might be some things that could brighten your day down in that description box. Thanks y'all. Bye-bye.